Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. I'm Christina. We are already almost a week, a little less than a week into May and I have not set up my Franken planner for the month. So that is what we are doing today. For those of you who are not familiar with the term Franken planner, basically it just means that you're taking different parts of different planners and putting it together on one set of discs. And that is what I have here. I will put my most recent setup, which should be for April below in the description so you can take a look at that if you would like to but we're just going to take it from the top i am keeping this cover this is a hard cover from the work life collection from the happy planner it's a vibe y'all there's another one that i think i'm going to pick up i think it's green and i just really really like this this vibe this planner sits on my desk it doesn't move from my desk and so having the hard cover um has been really really nice so we're going to keep this on here but we're changing this cover the inside cover we're going to keep these beautiful discs these are also from the work life planner uh collection from the happy planner and i just love the openness and i love this kind of like bright gold color we're taking off the Teresa collins cover i'm going back to a cover that i feel like i always come back to this is a cover from one of the spoonful of faith collaborations with the happy planner and i just love this cover I just love them. I love the colors. It, I feel like I pull it out almost every single May or at least in the summertime. Look at this beautiful inside and I just love it. So we're going to do the cover back in front. And then we are just going to start taking stuff out. As you can see, there's some back planning that needs to happen. I'm making a disclaimer now. April is where everything for me, almost every single year starts to fall apart. This April was no exception. You are gonna see a lot of blank pages in this planner, in the planners in this planner. Um, so some April pages are going to need to stay because I am going to catch up on some of these things. Um, that is my commitment to myself, but you'll see it when we get there. So we have the hello page and what year it is. We have my word of the year, unwavering. God's been testing me on this one already. We have a school calendar. We have the 2025, like at a glance kind of calendar. And then we go into this page here. It says January. This is the January currently page, but this is where I put some year goals on here. So I keep that in here as well. And it makes sense since I keep the 2025 calendar in here all year that this would stay. So here we have this spread for March on um, the last week of March. This was the week of Easter. This didn't happen, y'all. It just didn't happen. I had every intention of going back to fill it in and it didn't happen. So I'm going to take it out because we're already past a month of this now. I'm taking that out. April currently didn't happen. April monthly was decorated. I love it. I did not fill it in. But the weeks I did get filled in for April. This is so cute. I love this. This was Go Wild Week. And then this was last week. So all of this is coming out. I keep my used inserts on a set of discs. So all I have to do is like take something out and move it in somewhere else and vice versa. So out of this little planner that you're seeing here, I'm gonna pull out the June, uh, not June, we are not in June yet, Christina, slow down, May inserts and put them in. So I have been decorating. Um, I've already posted a couple of videos. I did decorate my May monthly and I decorated this week that I'm in right now. I'm actually, it's it's Wednesday, it's Wednesday right now. I haven't used this spread yet, but um, so I have been decorating. I just haven't, I didn't move anything in like I should have. So, okay, I'm making sure that the today tab is in the right spot. And this is my, I don't think I mentioned even before I started just running my mouth. This is my catch-all planner that you're seeing right here. This is the planner where all of my plans go into no matter what, um, anything of importance that I want to keep track of, it goes right here. Okay. Um, so that is May for my catch-all planner. It's also the most important planner that I have in here. The next one, most important as far as schedule and activities, the next planner I have in here, which is my my opinion, the most important planner I have in here, is my faith planner. My faith planner, y'all, when I tell you April, it fell apart, April, it fell apart. 
I'm going to be transparent with y'all. So how I use my faith planner is I write scriptures. I have a separate more in-depth planner that I call my war binder where I do like my Bible study. I keep my sermon notes. I do power scripture study, that sort of thing. This is really just for scripture writing to make sure that I am staying in the word every day and, you know, meditating on different scriptures throughout the week. And how I do that is I have a scripture reading plan by the scribes portion and it has a scripture every day. April, the theme was comfort for the brokenhearted, which I really was thought I was going to enjoy. I would have enjoyed it, except for the fact that I didn't really use my faith planner at all. I decorated, did not use it. And I can show you because I'm transparent on this channel. So, and look, everything, not even, I don't have everything in the right spot. I gotta get my life together. Here's the first week of April, decorated, beautiful second week started to use it had every intention of going back to fill in this week did not do it third week of april gorgeous was a go wild did not get to it and here's um last week which i started and did not finish so all of these pages are going to stay maybe not the monthly because i don't need the monthly but all of these pages are going to stay because I am going to go back and get my faith planner filled in. Um, last year, I completely fell off of my faith planner slash war binder. Um, it was kind of all in one last year and I am not letting that happen again this year because this planner is very important to, to me. So April's going to stay in. We are going to um move may in i haven't done any work in may yet even though may's already started you see we're not getting off to the best start but what i have found that usually works for me is as i am doing the current week if i do a couple of one of these pages just a couple i can get caught up pretty easy throughout the week as long as i don't try to do too much so that's where we're at for that this here, I want to put in my scripture writing. I don't use the monthly for my faith planner. I just needed to kind of go in straight into the, the weekly. And I never know what side to punch my writing plan on. I've been punching it on this side. I feel like I want to keep it. I feel like I want to punch it on this side and put it on the back of the currently page because I have not been using the currently page. Let's try that. I say I'm going to do it every single time and then I punch it on the wrong side and I'm so annoyed but I kind of want it to be like this although yeah okay let's try it and this time I'm going to do it right so I need to punch on this side and put it in not on the other side right this side yes this side okay Let's do it. Got my punch. I have done it wrong for the past three months, y'all. So today I conquered and I put it in here. So that's how I want that to look. Got a lot going on right now. And so when, as I'm working through April, getting caught up, I'll glue these pages together and then it will go into May. These pages actually, actually I can glue these together right now. Let's do that. I'm out of tape already. I swear, these don't last like they used to. I feel like these used to last a lot longer. I need to check my supply on these. I like to usually keep these stocked because they run out so fast. So let's glue these together here. So it just goes into the first week that we're in right now of May. And then for these pages here, um, they're not going to match up perfectly because one's Happy Planner and one is um, not, but it's okay. We'll just put the tape on this page 
And then that way you can. Ooh. And a little bit of extra on the outside that I could cut off, but I'm okay for it right now. Okay. So that is my faith planner for May. Obviously there's some planning, actually decorating and some writing I need to do in here. Um, and that takes us to where some of those other, in oh, let me put this back. This is where we're at. I need a new label here for this. Okay. Then where we're at is another month where, or another planner where it fell apart was my routines planner. Um, again, a planner I had every intention of using, but I did not use really at all. I don't even decorate in this planner, I don't think. So we are going to move out nothing from April, really, because there's really nothing to move out. And we are going to move in May, and I want to get on track for May. Okay, so for this planner, I am using, I say call it my routines planner, but really it is a combo of fitness, um, eating, wellness. It's just kind of a catch all for all of those things. And so when I first started out the year, if you're new to my channel, you won't know this. If you are not new to my channel, sorry for the repetition. I wanted to use the stress management layout. It looked like this, right? So I had every intention of kind of writing, you know, checking off things that I was doing, you know, writing food, whatever. Um, I used it for a week and I was like, nope, this doesn't work for me. I need to do something different. So I found an insert. I don't know. Oh, it's right here in front of me, Christina. Duh. Um, I found an insert um, um, from Haru Plans on Etsy. And it's kind of this week at a glance or weekly overview insert. And it really has been working for me. So it's horizontal. So I got to turn my planner like this real quick so you can see well. But here's usually what I do. I write my habits here. So the routines that I was talking about, any like high reminders, priorities, I can kind of highlight what week I'm working on since this is a weekly overview. Then here I list my workouts. If I'm going to the gym, what I'm focusing on, what I did at the gym. Um, and then for these boxes, I'm focusing on what I'm eating, my eating windows and that sort of thing. And I still have room to decorate. So I've been enjoying these inserts and um, we'll continue to use them throughout the year unless something better comes along. Right now, I think May has four weeks. Is that right? Um, well, we have this first week. One, two, three, four. Technically, there's five weeks in May. So I might need another one of these sheets. I have someone la one laying around somewhere. But that's what that looks like. Um, for what I took out, I usually have this in the front to kind of separate between that and my faith planner. And this goes in the back. This is my routine check-in. I made a short or like a reel about this. Um, just something to kind of refer to to kind of keep me on track throughout the day. And then I need my divider. Now, um, I really just want the tab, if I'm being honest. I don't really need this sheet, so I can actually take this out. I really just want the tab for the divider. This though, I want to try to use. This is the May currently page, but if I put it on the inside of this, I would prefer to have that. So I'm gonna glue those together. The other thing that you're seeing here is this tab or this divider here for, it says August. I pulled this from a different planner that I wasn't using because I don't like this one. And I wanna put these together to make one new divider so real quick i'm gonna cut the tab off of this one this is not a perfect system y'all franken planning i think anybody who does it knows it is not a perfect system sometimes your stuff doesn't look 
perfect. But as long as it's a better feel and a fit to you, that's what's important. So I am going to glue these together as well as I can. And so even though I have this little purple spot now, I have a divider that I like a lot more than what I had before. I didn't glue that down very well. Um, and then here, I'm going to glue this down so I can maybe work through some of these. And if I don't get to it, I don't get to it. I've learned <laughs> not to beat myself up too much. Um, there's a lot I don't get to during the month, but it's, it gives me the option of doing it if I would like to. And then, like I said, these are for the weeklies. I'll need an extra week here somewhere, but we will keep it as is in my routine sheet. So that is my routines planner. Okay, moving on to my business slash social media planner. This is what the monthly looks like, but the weeklies, y'all, I've decorated, but they did not get filled out. And that's just me being transparent. And so we want to change that for, for the coming month because I really want to kind of keep the momentum up on my videos. And I keep saying this, but at some point I would really like to start this company or this business that I keep telling myself that I'm going to start. So this planner helps keep me together. I love these dividers. This is probably one of my like they just make me so happy these uh dividers are from a planner from the happy planner called fun floors it was a student planner i believe and so i had to do some rearranging some franken planning on the inserts not the inserts the uh yeah the inserts for this planner so you'll see more of that because technically this planner is going to, I, I, anyway, I had to do some rearranging basically, but I love this. I'm using the checklist layout for this planner and I really, really like it. I can write my videos at the top. I can write kind of things to do and my general stuff at the bottom and it works when I use it. If I don't use it, it doesn't work. I um, have not planned out anything for the month as far as videos quite yet. So I need to get on that. And I just put the full month in. So here it is. And then what I also do is I put the next month, just the monthly in here. So I'll have a tab that says May and a tab that says June. So I can pre-plan some videos as, as needed. But that's what my business planner looks like. I probably could have another tab that doesn't say business because right now this really isn't a business. This is just a hobby that I make a little bit of money from, a little bit of money from, um, but it's fine. I know what it means. Um, then back here I have in this ideas little tab, I have some like notes and things I'm thinking about from a business perspective, lists of videos, potential videos to make, things like that. The last tab here in the back is my budget tab. This is new to 2024. In 2023, I tried to budget digitally on my iPad. I hated it. And so I'm moving everything back into my planner. Also, what kind of threw me off in my budget planner this year is I got laid off in January, the end of January, and um, I am now employed again. Thank you, Jesus. But there was kind of a point there where I wasn't really sticking very close to my budgeting, even though I should have been. I That is not an excuse for anything. I should have been staying on top of my budgeting when I was laid off, but I was not. I was kind of like, well, I don't know what's going on. I don't want to think about it, so I'm not going to budget. So I have some catching up I need to do here um like i need to fill out the rest of the months and stuff and i have the opportunity to move some of the things i took out back in like i took out some savings challenges some debt payoff stuff there was some other stuff i wanted to track that i took out that i need to put back in but for now we're just going to focus on taking out april so there are two sheets that i print that I believe I printed right now just to just base basic keep myself on track the first one is in May or the monthly view this 
budget planner is actually a digital planner but when anybody who uses digital planning products knows that really those are just pdfs so i was like why would i buy a new digital or why would i buy a new budget planner when i purchased one for digital so i just go into that file and i print the sheets that i need so i print may the monthly and i also print a monthly budget sheet overview thing these do not print super like pretty y'all as you can see i don't have the best printer but it works for my purposes and then the other one i print is a paycheck budget it's double-sided i get paid two times a month one says paycheck budget and one says oh i printed the wrong sheet okay we'll ignore this this is the one that i want i want the bi-weekly one not the paycheck one they have two different versions i guess um i get paid two times a month so that helps me so i'll just print another one and glue it to the back of this one but that is what that looks like so the budget section is really really simple and then in the back here i don't have a tab or a label here but this is just like all oh it's a catch-all of things it's a catch-all of spreads that i decorated that i would like to use so and i can pull from so anytime i'm having a like i don't have time to decorate i can maybe pull from a spread that i've already done it has some other note sheets some trackers that i've done on posted on my social media things like that so that y'all is my setup for may i am really committed to trying to get back on track for may april is where it all fall apart as i mentioned at the beginning of my video and that happens usually i feel like when we start out the year in planning and the planning community we start out strong and then things so slowly or sometimes quickly start to kind of like go to the wayside and that's okay planning is really just to help you keep on track and i've been holding on with what i have in here so far i really really like my setup and i'm excited to dig into this planner for the new month so thank you so much for hanging out with me for this setup video if you liked it please like and subscribe you can also head over to my instagram xo.christina is where i'm at over there to see more plannery things so again thank you for hanging out with me and i hope to be planning with you very very soon xo bye guys